What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your buttons span two columns with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at making our buttons span two columns, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video we built this basic app, but everything was in two columns and the button here didn't span all the way across like it does here. It was just in this one column, right? So that was kind of a hassle. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And this is sort of a, a tricky thing. In a lot of programming languages, we have something called call span. You could set something with a call span of two, and it will span two columns, right? Kivi doesn't have that, and it's incredibly frustrating. But this is sort of important to understand how we fix this, because it's really how you do kind of all layout, at least, at least with the grid layout system in Kivi. And so we need to set up a situation to where we're embedding different grids inside of grids. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So I've got the code that we worked on last time. I, I renamed it input2.py from input.py, but it's the same code from the last video. If you didn't see that video, check the playlist. There's a link in the comment section below. I haven't changed anything yet, but now I want to open a, a thing here. Uh, let me just do a quick little drawing here. So imagine in the last video, we had our app, right? And we had, well, that's a bad drawing. We had two columns, right? So we were putting stuff in here and then the text box and then like the label text box, label text box, and then the submit button was right here, right? So that's not that great. What we need to do is actually, like I said, embed two different things. So let's redraw this guy. So this is our app now. So here we want, to put another grid system inside of here, right? Like this. And we're gonna make our app just one column. So in this one column, we'll have this grid system and then below it, we'll have our submit button, right? That's the submit button. Now inside of this grid system, we'll have two columns. So we'll have our text and our input box. Well, I am a great drawer, text input box and text input box, right? So see how this works? We're embedding this grid inside of our already grid widget, right? So then we can have as many different columns as we want. Now this button isn't really spanning two columns. It's just still spanning one column, this main column, right? It just so happens that inside of here, we have another one with different columns. So that's how we sort of get around this with Kivi. And it seems kind of like a hassle, but it's actually not that bad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to our code and I'm going to change this from two columns to one column. Now let's just save this and run it and make sure this is looking good. So input two dot pi. So let's go Python input two dot pi. And this is what we get, right? So we've got our label text box, label text box, and then our submit button, right? Okay. So, so far so good. So now let's create a second grid layout, right? So I'm going to call this, it's going to be, everything starts with self basically. So self, now we need to name this thing and I'm going to just, I'm going to call this top grid, right? So it's the grid we want on top. The button's going to be below. So I'll just call this top grid and we just set this equal to a grid layout, right? And that's really kind of all there is to it. Now we can say, how many columns do we want this thing to be? So self dot top grid dot calls equal to two, right? So now, all we have to do is come through here to all of our widgets and sort of assign them into this top grid layout, right? Right now, they're just in self, right? We need to put them in self dot top grid dot add widget. So every time you see an add widget thing, we can just slap in a dot grid. Let me just kind of copy it like this. So self dot add widget, we can boom, add one there. Self dot add widget, add one there favorite color, favorite color widget. Now the button we don't want to put in top grid, right? We want to put it in the regular grid. We want it to be below this sort of second grid, right? So that it spans the whole column. So we could just leave that alone. But what we want, but we do need to 
add the new top grid to our app, right? So we need to actually put it on there. So let's go self dot add widget, self dot top grid, right? This grid that we created here, it is a widget. We need to add it just like we add every widget, right? So we can, let's see, where did it go? Where'd it go? There it is, <laughs> self dot add widget right there. Put this anywhere, but it makes sense to me to put it kind of above the button, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it, see how this looks. And boom, just like that, we now have this button spanning the entire sort of width of our app, these two columns. And so we could try this out. John, favorite pizza is, uh, let's say cheese today. And favorite color, eh, let's go gray. There we go. Hello, John, you like cheese pizza and your favorite color is gray. And you notice this spans all of it too because we're assigning this to our main widget, our main grid layout widget which is one column, right? So that makes sense and uh, very cool. All right, so it is Friday here in Vegas. Quick little video, knock this out. Uh, but this is important, you know, uh, understanding how to arrange things in your app is sort of the most fundamental thing. And, you know, this is not that intuitive until you kind of map it out like we did, draw a picture, realize anytime you need to span different things, you just assign the things inside of another grid layout and slap that up there and then sort of go from there. And this is kind of common with Kivi. This is just sort of what you do. And uh, and like I said, not that bad once you really kind of think it through once and go, oh, okay, this kind of makes sense. And it's actually kind of simple. Sometimes you just pull out a piece of paper and draw it if you have to, in order to really place the pieces around. And uh, that kind of helps out until it becomes more intuitive to just do it. Uh, but after you do it a few times, it's really second nature and it's really kind of easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.